A clash of styles as Newcastle United arrived in South London for their FA Premier League fixture against Wimbledon. The Dons hadn't won in ten games and had slipped into the bottom three. Newcastle, by contrast, were unbeaten in 14. Another win, and they would move seven points clear at the top of the table. Andy Pearce was making his third appearance for Wimbledon since his £600,000 move from Sheffield Wednesday. He was joined at the back by Kenny Cunningham. Vinnie Jones and Andy Thorne were out with flu. Joe Kinnear selected a four-man attack. John Goodman, Dean Holdsworth, Effan Ikoku and Mick Harford all looking for goals. Newcastle United's Darren Peacock was in a rich vein of form, so Philippe Albert had to settle for a place on the bench. Kevin Keegan named an unchanged team. His only doubt had been Les Ferdinand, but he'd recovered from a head injury. Warren Barton was making his first appearance against Wimbledon since his £4 million move in the summer. Your match commentator is John Champion. Newcastle are not the most enthusiastic visitors to the capital. You don't find many enthusiastic visitors to Selhurst Park to play Wimbledon. A chilly day. A good-sized crowd. And the prospect of watching the English Premier League leaders in action. Newcastle with 38 points from their 15 games. Four points clear of the pack. Unbeaten in 14 matches now. And that solitary blemish on their record, the one defeat at Southampton to that Jim McGilton goal back at the start of September. Kimball's header out. Robbie Earl. Wimbledon, by way of contrast, have not now won in ten games. Two draws and eight defeats. And results yesterday dropped them into the bottom three there's Andy Pierce's header helped on its way by Kimball now Leonardson Beresford that was a late challenge it'll be a Newcastle free kick Leonardson the guilty party Joe Kinnear completes four years in charge of the Dons next month. Ferdinand. Barton vying for it. Cross comes Howie. Earl. Kimball. It's Peacock. Barton failing to control. Warren Barton making his first appearance against his former club. A cuckoo. There's Robbie Earl. And the way in which the move was conceived was pleasant enough on the eye. But Earl unable to get the header anywhere near on target. It's only six weeks since these two sides last met at St James's Park. Newcastle winners 6-1 that day with a hat-trick from Les Ferdinand. Ferdinand. Beardsley. Beardsley letting fly, it was always swinging away from goal. Peter Beardsley at the age of 34, still a real threat in the Premier League. Leonardson. And there was a Koku arriving at pace. And therein lies the danger for Newcastle. It's a super ball in. Delivered diagonally by Leonardson. And a Koku just having to stretch.
Hancock. Rob Lee trying to do the tidying up. Up by Lee Clark. Here's Holdsworth. Earl. MacArthur dallied on it. Now the break's on. Beardsley. Beresford. Ferdinand! It's taken eight minutes. Les Ferdinand bags his 19th goal of the season. And we're still three weeks short of Christmas. All stemmed from the loss of the ball by Mick Harford. Deep inside Newcastle territory. Beardsley to Beresford. And a resounding finish from Ferdinand. Typical Newcastle. What a season they're having. And Wimbledon, whose bad run has stretched for the best part of three months, find themselves behind early. This is Goodman. Just too high for Harford, instead it was Leonardson. Nick Harford, not quite high enough. And Hislop found it within reach. Lee. Beardsley. This is Oyvind Leonardson. Alan Kimball and Beardsley's got it back. Loitering with intent. Lee. Kimball's tackle. And away by Perry. The addition of Newcastle United to the list of clubs capable of winning the Premier League title has been a welcome one this season. Mick Harford, a man born in Sunderland, facing them today. Actually played 19 league games for Newcastle earlier in his career. Goodman and Holdsworth! That's neat! And it's also well deserved by Wimbledon. That's why Harford's in there for his experience. Teeing up Goodman, hit first time by Holdsworth. Ninth of the season for him. And Wimbledon are back on terms at 1 1. A swept, guided finish beyond the dive of his lock. Paul Heald. He's quite a character engaging in some light-hearted banter with the supporters. Helps to be a character if you play for Wimbledon. Kevin Keegan called for resilience from Newcastle today. Koku. Oh, and the goalkeeper came and missed. Here's Goodman. Harford and a Koku got the touch. Harford is doing his best to try and persuade his colleagues that he should get credit for the goal, but the debit for the goal goes against the name of Shaki Hislop. He knew he would be in the firing line. There would be lots of high balls pumped into his direction. And he came for that one, missed it. It was returned with interest by Harford. But the final touch belonged to Epin Okoku. Wimbledon have turned this game around and lead 2-1. And the touch was decisive. Leonardson. 
Darren Peacock. Now here's Barton. Beardsley. Lee. Ginola. Ferdinand! And we're back at 2 2. Teasing cross in by Ginola. Met on the volley by Les Ferdinand. For whom it's 20 goals in 20 games this season. Lee. Beardsley. Well, there are a few more reliable goal scorers in the English Premier League than Les Ferdinand. It's been the case for a long time now. Perry. Peacock. Back to his lock. Newcastle's Achilles heel last season was their away form. They finished sixth in the end. Really struggled on their travels. That's something they've largely put right this season. Ferdinand. And a glorious chance. Newcastle have the lead. 3-2. Keith Gillespie sliding in with Kenny Cunningham. Not sure who got the final touch. But that's a side issue. Newcastle have regained the lead. Desperate ball to have to defend. Out came the left leg of Kenny Cunningham. And that was the contact that took the ball in. Newcastle led. Wimbledon led. Newcastle now in front again. Problems for Terry Burton in the background there and Joe Kinnear. with the territory with Newcastle that you get goals and you get plenty of entertainment there's a Koku touched out of play by Barton and Wimbledon have a corner No side exploits set pieces more in the Premier League than Wimbledon. There's the signal from Kimball. It's near post. Goalkeeper came again and didn't get close to it. And last of all, it came off Robbie Earl. Hislop a little fortunate in that he appeared to punch the ball against Earl. And from there, out of play. But this is a tactic that's paying off for Wimbledon. It's one, of course, they use frequently. High balls into the opposition penalty area. And his loop is looking particularly uncertain. <laughs> Gerald Ashby, the referee from Worcester, blows the half-time whistle. And what an entertaining 45 minutes it's been. Garnished by two goals from Les Ferdinand. Newcastle in front for a second time. Here at Selhurst, it's Wimbledon 2, Newcastle 3. Wimbledon get this second period underway through Messrs Earl and Holdsworth. Trailing, as they have done so often of late. They won three of their first five games to go third in the table. They beat Bolton, won at QPR, beat Liverpool, but since then it's been something of a struggle. Not helped by their inability to keep clean sheets, just three in 17 matches in all competitions so far this season. Kimball. 
Plucked away by Clark. Sam Hamam, the Wimbledon owner, has come down to the bench, as is his habit. Side flag is raised. There's two first half goals from Ferdinand, making all the difference to Newcastle. Clark. Beresford. Ferdinand. Mistake by Kimball comes to Lee. Well, it was worth a blast from Rob Lee. He used to play his football in South London with Charlton. But a hugely popular member of the Newcastle team now. Clark. Presented to Gale. Kimball. Arthur beaten in the air. And the shot across the face of goal from John Goodman. Newcastle know that they're in for a, yet more of a battle in this second half because that's the Wimbledon way. Goodman making only his fourth start this season too far away from getting his name on the score sheet. Earl. Peacock. Marcus Gale. On his outside is Kimball. There's Harford! It's an elastic save by Shaka Hislop. That old dreadnought of a striker, Mick Harford, whose physical presence is legendary, made meaty contact. 36 now, Mick Harford, with his 10th club in his 19th season. Kimball. Leonardson. Goodman, Kimball, there's Gale, head out by Peacock. The last thing Joe Kinnear needs is another home defeat. Three wins, three draws, nine defeats in the Premier League so far this season. It's a huge disappointment bearing in mind their ninth place finish last season. And the year before, they were sixth, their best ever league position at the end of a campaign. And the plan this time round was to build on that. But they find themselves back in 18th place. Kimball. Holdsworth! Never right Wimbledon off. There's an inner spirit that always seems to come to the fore in adversity. Dean Holdsworth has backed his second. And the game is tied at 3-3. Harford with the assist. Holdsworth the finish. Newcastle have been in front on two occasions, Wimbledon once. Keep a winner from here if you can. Harper breaks for Beardsley. Ginola running at Perry, beyond Perry, shooting just wide. With respect to Wimbledon. I'm not sure Selhurst Park is Ginola's natural stage. 
Hartford. Lennartson. In the middle was Goodman. This is Robbie Earl. Kenny Cunningham. Appeals for handball against Beresford. Fairness to Gerald Ashby, it was on his blind side. And Wimbledon looked across to the linesman, hoping for a decision from him. Difficult to tell from that angle. Kimball. Harford. Beresford away. And this now becomes a test of the resilience and resolve that Kevin Keegan requested of Newcastle. 14 games without defeat. Twelve wins in the Premier League already. And it's Wimbledon who had the corner. Ten minutes to play on this chilly Sunday afternoon. And there's a game to be won. Kimball. Gillespie. Cunningham with the challenge. Beardsley. Super Bowl. Ginola. There's so much flair in this Newcastle team. And it was such an inviting cross. Rob Lee closest to making the meaningful contact needed. Beardsley swinging it 50 yards to Ginola. Perry helpless against the Frenchman. And you can't criticise a delivery into that area. It was ball A into position A. Well, Joe Kinnear would probably take a draw at the end of this. Having twice been behind. Say he and Wimbledon aren't greedy for all three points. Howie as it comes to Gale, Holdsworth, Marcus Gale. Put away from making it 4 3. Yeah, must be turned to chase. Knew it was in vain. And Paul Heald is taking his time over this goal kick. And time is something that we don't have much of. Fog beginning to settle over Selhurst Park. Shall make the journey home interesting. Beardsley. Ginola. One last hurrah maybe for Newcastle. And Gillespie. No one there. Wimbledon survive. Wimbledon escape. And it's looking more and more likely to end all square there's the whistle a point apiece after an engaging game that swung both ways Newcastle led twice Wimbledon held the lead on one occasion it's finished level handshakes all round it was played in a good spirit and there were some excellent goals two from Ferdinand two from Holdsworth it's finished Wimbledon three Newcastle United three
So the point shared in SE19 and Kevin Keegan returned to the northeast with a nagging feeling that his side should have done better. His frustration grew as the season progressed and Newcastle missed out on the title to Manchester United by four points. Wimbledon survived to fight another season. The crazy gang's love affair with the Premier League very much a feature of the 1990s.